Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go back out to the range today, shoot my 22-250. We're gonna shoot some Barnes 45 grain TSXs. And there's the rifle behind me, you see it right there, that Marlin X7 with the Boyd stock. Got a Vortex Viper scope on it. Uh, the question today is, is a 22-250 good for whitetail deer? It obviously depends on a lot of stuff, but this particular bullet We'll definitely get your penetration. It's gonna be going plenty fast to expand. So let's kind of take a look at some of the numbers and let's just see how it does. So stay tuned. All right, so shooting the Barnes, I believe 45 grain TSXs now. Now my goal is to shoot 4,000 feet per second. These were around 38.50, the highest one was 38.91. I shot two groups, I'm getting ready to go look at both of them. When I get down here, I'll show you all the numbers and everything for the groups, but uh, accuracy was okay. Let's see what it looks like. It's pointing right there. That's the first group, which I'll put all on the screen now. All the information you need to know. And then this was the second group. Now here, it's shooting so high, I knew if I aimed here, it would go off the paper. So I was aiming right there. And that was my next three shot group. So here's the numbers on the screen now. Okay, so here was the third group. I shot right here. Not a bad group, inch and a half or so. Here's the fourth group. I shot right in the center of the bullseye. Not so good. And I honestly felt really good about that, those trigger squeezes. Just felt really good about it. So that's starting to open up. I've got two more loads that are even hotter than this one. Let's see what happens. but. It's getting close to 4,000. That's my goal is to break 4,000. Um, I think I will do it, but I think they're gonna start really <laughs> going all over the place. And I have been letting my barrel cool. I, I, shot, I shot a couple groups, let the barrel cool for like 30 minutes, shot these last two groups. I'm gonna let the barrel cool down again for about 20, 30 minutes. All right, <laughs> okay, so I'll put the average muzzle velocity of those three on the screen right now. Uh, it's like 4,100, good night. I, I think I see a, I don't know, I'll talk about the group size when I get down here, but wow, now bolt lift getting pretty tight. So I'm definitely seeing some pressure. I'm having issues with my gun overall with every load I'm shooting. So before I even shoot my last group, if I shoot my last group, I'm going to shoot some older reloads that are much slower and see if the bolt lift is the same on them. But anyway, here's the group. Not terrible. Two pretty close and then one about uh, two inches away. So yeah, that's a very, very fast group. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, there's the last three shot group. Naming right there. Eh, groups never really work that great. So if you look at them, the groups were definitely better down at the lower speeds. That was the first group, second, third, I believe, fourth, fifth, sixth. So they definitely got worse as they went on. The best was probably about an inch group, maybe a little under. So I've got a few things to figure out with my gun. I saw no signs of pressure except the bolt lift. However, the bolt the bolt's giving me trouble on everything I cycle, so there could be something wrong with the gun, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, possibility it's over pressure because of the bolt lift. Now, would it be a good deer hunting rifle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 400 feet per second. I'll, I'll work the numbers here and I'll put it on the screen right here. Kind of show you a trajectory chart, but man, that's going to have good velocity for a long way and good energy. And even though it's a Barnes TSX and it needs high velocity to expand, man, it's going to it's going to penetrate and it's still going to expand. So yes, I would say for sure, it's going to be a great, it would be great for, let's say white tail deer around here. Would it be my first choice? No, no, I wouldn't pick it first. Definitely could be done though. Um, if it's not my gun and that bolt being that heavy is the sign of being overpressured, that's not a good sign because you couldn't quickly cycle that bolt. <laughs> It's that tough. You would get one good shot, and then if you needed to make some follow-up shots, you'd really have to yank on that bolt to get it open. So I need to figure out if it's the gun or if it's just the hot loads. But like I said, I am shooting some other ones out here today as well on a different video, and it's everything I'm shooting is having a heavy bolt lift. So I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, 22 250 for deer, definitely, but get a bullet similar to the Parnes TSX going 4,100 feet per second. Guys, take care.